News 4 Jack's I team is documenting damage and asking questions about the Golden Ray cargo ship that overturned in the St. Simon Sound two weeks ago. We're also learning more about what may have happened in the early morning hours leading up to the accident. And Tark's here with us. Tark, you got a real good look at the ship. Absolutely. We were able to get closer to the Golden Ray car carrier than ever before by boat, just about 150 yards away. And from this distance, we could see this. It's on the keel there. It's kind of small to see. We'll show it to you more, but it's, it's some damage there to the ship. And we wanted to find out what happened. A charter boat captain takes the News for Jack's I team within two football fields of the Golden Ray cargo ship that's lying on its side in the St. Simon Sound. From the water, we were able to observe damage that we could not see from a distance. This caught our attention. What appears to be scraped paint, where the bulbous boat transitions to the keel of the ship. Notice the rest of the vessel's bottom is all red. We wanted to know if this was significant. Well, first of all, it's right up near the bow and it's scraping at the paint. And we know that there was a buoy, buoy 19, that actually went totally underneath this ship. And so what that paint scraping likely is, is the chain and the buoy passing underneath the ship and scraping away all the paint. Maritime expert Rod Sullivan says that damage probably occurred after the ship overturned. He points out at the time of the accident, another vessel was approaching the Golden Ray and both ships were sharing the same channel. Another car carrier called the Emerald Ace that was inbound and we had this ship the Golden Ray outbound and as the two ships pass in a head-to-head -head passing one has to get to the right side of the channel the north side the other gets to the south side and when they pass they're basically at the edges of their channel and that appears to be about where the uh, the, the rolling over occurred. Sullivan suspects improper stabilization was also a factor in the Golden Ray turning over on its side. He thinks the ballast tank which is a compartment within the bottom of the ship wasn't balanced properly as the ship made the turn. My experience has been that no accident, major collision, accident, disaster like this doesn't happen without two things going wrong. And the two things going wrong here, in my opinion, was probably lack of stability because of improper ballasting and lack of proper cargo securing, causing the cars to roll to one side. Now, at the time of the accident, the tide was rising as the Golden Ray was outbound. The low tide had just passed. So Sullivan does not think that the ship went out of the channel. It's also one of the things the NTSB is investigating.